It's a weird labyrinth. If anyone breaks in, they turn into a person's in paper. What's going on here? When the woman came home that day, she saw a paper maze inside the house. At that moment, her boyfriend's pleas for help were coming from inside the maze. This surprised Anna. She climbed in with her friends. The inside of the cardboard box was a completely different world, and it looked much bigger than the outside. Bok cuts his hand on the cardboard shell. A drop of blood falls down and is quickly absorbed by the cardboard box. They came into another room. A giant mess kept spitting out paper, and 2,000 paper cranes stood on either side of the wall. They entered the sea of paper. As the camera looked around, the crane suddenly emerged from the pile of paper. It's attacking the cameraman in front of it. The mask exhales and the door begins to close down. They're dealing with the crane. They don't have time to run. Mike kills the crane with a recorder stick and the mask breathes its last. By now, the door is completely closed. They have to crawl into the mask's mouth to find another way out. They came to a new room. Then Ella excitedly ran out of a hole. He thought it would be fun. The next moment she stepped on a trap which triggered the underground drive. Then Ella's throat was slit and red confetti sprayed out of her neck. They ran away in fear. Anna pulls out a knife and pokes it into the paper wall. She wanted to dig a hole to the outside. But then there was a sudden gust of wind and Bob told Anna to hurry. Something was approaching. Anna bursts into action and rips a hole in the wall. They got in. Only Judy was still there. Get out of here! They ran away in a panic. While hiding, they ran into Dave. Dave led them to a room. Dave jumped straight into the cardboard box and then he disappeared. To everyone's surprise, Dave explains and they all fall down with him. After six hours of traveling through the pipes, they finally slipped out. The weird thing was that they all turned into little paper figures. Dave explained that if they got out of here, they'd be back to their old selves. Suddenly, the tube moved again and a little paper monster walked up to them. The next moment, the monster got bigger and they rushed out through the hole. They made it outside and returned to their human form. Then they finally escaped from the maze. They found that the maze had swallowed the entire living room and was still expanding. Dave said that in order to destroy the maze, a destructive device must be installed in the heart of the maze. Everyone prepares their tools and enters the maze once again. A terrifying puppet appeared. Right. The not they recognized it as the dead Ella. But why is she like this? Her soul is now controlled by the maze. Her emotions change as she is controlled. Dave and Anna went to another room. They quickly set up the destructive device. Then Anna pulled out her long knife and plunged it into the maze body. A gust of wind blew up and the puppet's whole body was in severe pain. Bob took the opportunity to throw out the twine and ensnare the creature. The deeper the knife penetrated, the more the puppet suffered. Finally, the puppet was blown to pieces and it turned into a giant hand. The giant hand slowly retracted. Then the other end of the twine was found tied to the photographer's foot. The photographer gives up and is swallowed up. There was an explosion of confetti. At this point, Anna cuts through the passageway and they attack the heart of the maze. They then set up the destructive device and when it's activated, Dave pulls out his knife and slashes and now the maze collapses. The falling confetti kills the creature and they make it back to the real world.